Now we're at part D of uh, what was the question again? Oh, this is the end of the question. And yeah, it was question five. Part D of question five of the uh, January 2022 CSEC Mathematics paper. You know, it says complete the table below and use the information to calculate an estimate of the mean distance walked by the students on that day. Okay. So, let's copy this part of the question. Put it over here. This was from the previous work we did. Uh, let's just erase these things that are here. We have these here, the median and so on and so forth. I'm not sure if you're going to use these. Let's just put them further down. Just in case, instead of erasing them. Alright, so... You know, I think it would be good if we in if we expand this table so that we can have enough space to write. Okay. Complete the table below and use the information to calculate an estimate of the mean distance walked by the students on that day. All right, we're going to complete the table below. Here it says 0 to 0.5, midpoint 0.25, number of students 12, F time X, that's 0 0.25 by 12, that's quarter by 12, 3, okay, good. 0.25 here because 0.25 is halfway between 0 and 0.5. That means the same thing as saying 25 is halfway between 0 and 50, right? So it's 0.75 is the midpoint, halfway between 0.5 and 1. You have number of students 24. And then F times X, that means 0.75 by 25 is 18. That's three quarters of 24. Three quarters of 24. You say it's 4 into 4, 1, 4 into 24, 6, 6, 3 is 18. All right? That's how that came about. Um, halfway between 1 and 1 1.5 is 1.25. There are 46 students. 57.5 is F times X. So 1.25 by 46 is what you have there. So when you do the calculation, let me size up my calculator. So you have 1.25 times 46 equal 57.5. That's how you get that. All right. After that now. You also have 2, 2.75, 5.5. 2 by 2.75, 5 is 2 times 2.75 is 5.5, 5, right? Remember, I know we're looking at in detail at the question, right? In exam, you don't have all the time to be studying the um, table in such detail, but we're not in exam today. So anyway, here, the midpoint would be what? The midpoint of 1.5 and 2, we're going to put it here. Um, by the way, I want you to pause the video and fill in all of these values for me, quickly. Alright, you did that? What did you get? Let's see what happened here. You notice 
midpoint halfway between 2.5 and 3 is 2.75 so halfway between 1.5 and 2 is what it would be 1.75 right it follows the pattern here too halfway between 0 0.5 and 1 is 0 0.75 so halfway between 1.5 and 2 is 1.75 halfway between 2.5 and 3 is 2.75 right number of students would be what so here now you want to find the number of students and then f times x let's look at the graph here you have 0 0.5 and 0 12 students 0 0.5 like about 12 yeah, if you project across, you have 10 plus 2 more, that's 12. The 12 would be right here. You see that? Then, the 0 0.75 is 24 students. So, at 0 0.75, 0 0.75 would be about here and then you project across it's 20 how much let's say 20 something 24 students they get all right and notice here let's say before halfway between point zero and point five would be 0.25 right here halfway between 0 0.5 halfway between 0 0.5 and 1 would be right here which is 0.75 you see that then 1 to 1.5 1 to 1.5 halfway and then 1.5 so this point would be 1.25 so halfway between 1 1.5, 1.25, right? And the number they get is 46. So they get that number. Let us see. If you project up to here and then go across. Hold on. They say 1.25, 46. Number of students. 1.25. It says 46. Why 46? If you go 1.25, you know. One point two five is here. And you go up, you'll have passed 50. Right? But anyway, that's what they say. But <coughs> um it isn't accurate because what happened? You would have the table first and then you plot the points and draw the line. So some of the points would be off. Right? You might have a few points directly on the curve, but some of them would be a bit off. That's why you don't get exactly 46 there. Right? The smooth curve. You mustn't try to join the lines. You mustn't try to make um the line fit into the curve you also just draw a, a smooth curve some of them the points will be above it some of the points will be below it right all right so at 1.75 1.75 is would be here One point seven five, and then you go up to the curve, and you project across. This would be what one hundred and two hundred and four hundred and six. Call it one hundred and eight. So here. Oh, 
not 508. Everything must add up to 120. Right? So, here now, the number of students at one, at here, would be, if you put the total, everything up here, add to 108, all the numbers here add to 108. So, what number should it be here? 108 minus 46 minus 24 minus 12 would be what? Let's see what that would be. So what you have is 108 minus 46 minus 24 minus 12 equal 26 is about 26 there right is about 26 would be there remember these are not the cumulative frequency do right the cumulative frequency is on the graph but these would add up to 120 now to get 120 Everything must add up to 120. So, if you add up all of these numbers, what will you get? You get 12 plus 24 plus 46 plus 26 plus 2 equal you have 110 and then what's missing to make up the 120 it would be 10 more so what you would have is the 120 students minus 110 equal I have 10 so 10 would come here right 10 would come here now, suppose you say you're going to look at the graph itself to see 2.25 and where it goes. If you look at 2.25, it will be here. You project up and then across. Now, this looks like 115 or so. so the value would be different. The, 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 this height goes up to 115. 150 minus 108 would be what? 115. If you look at the highest, 120, oh no, 120 minus 115 is not 108. 120 minus 115 would be 5. What does I say? Whatever point you plot might be either below or above the curve. Not all of them will be on the curve. Alright? So, therefore, what you have in the table, <coughs> I've got this from looking at the graph. These two are missing. So, I've got them from the first one from looking at the graph and estimating about what this could be. And then, to get the last one, I added up all these numbers, subtract it from 120, goes to 120, and then get the last number here, right? Now, as for these, what should come here? 1.75 must multiply 26. So, it's going to be 1.75 times 26 equal 45.5 it would be so you have 45.5 here 10 by 2.25 would be 22.5 all right so 
you have these values here. After that now, what they say you're to do you know, is complete the table below and use the information to calculate an estimate of the mean distance walked by the students on that day. All right, the mean distance. Now, I'm calculating the mean distance. One mistake that students might make is to say, since the mean bar x is equal to the sum of the values over the total number of values, they would then say, what do I use as the value? It would be the midpoint. So they add up the midpoint and say 0 0.25 plus 0 0.75 plus 1.25 plus 1.75 plus 2.25 plus 2.75 and then they say there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 of them and divide by 6. But that would be wrong. Right? That's a common mistake that students make but that is not the, the way right what happens is this you see they use a the midpoint to represent the range of values in kilometers no problem but here now you see the point two five there are 12 of them Right? 12 of them. So it's the same as saying 0 0.25 plus 0 0.25 plus 0 0.25. And you have 12 of them. But instead of adding like that, you just multiply. The multiplication has been done for you. You get 3. 12 by 0.25 is 3. Right? So these are the numbers that you must add up. So you get 3. 0 0.0 plus 18 plus 15.5 plus 45.5 plus 22.5 plus 5.5 and by the way you notice they said to get the estimate of the mean is not the exact value you're going to get because from a graph all right so you have that now what are you going to divide it by no it's not going to be six the number you divide it by is the total of these, which will be 120, 120. So you divide by 120. Reason? Because you see this point 0.25, there are 12 of them. Then this point 0.75, there are 24 of them. So, so far, you have 36 values plus 46 more values and so on and so forth. And you add them up, you get 120 values, right? That's going to be the mean. So you say the mean equals. Alright, let us do the calculation here. So you have 3 plus 18 plus 15.5 plus. 45.5 plus 22.5 plus 5.5 equal 110 over 120 you divide by 120 you get a mean of 9.17 right 9.17 kilometers um, so oh where, where, where do I get 9.17 for? it's 110 over 120 where do I get that from? it looks strange I know none of them would walk all of that distance 
9.917. I don't know why I put 9.17. Why? 0 0.917 kilometers. Right. So, 0.917 kilometers is the average. Right? The, the mean distance walked. All right. So that is the end of question five. Question six is next.